begin with breaking news. Several people are reported injured after a stolen truck crashed into a crowded bar, as you see here. It happened just a little while ago. It's all happening right now at a Dover Gardens Tavern in Westlake. News Channel 5's Josh Boost live in our newsroom. Josh, what's happening? Well, this happened right before 9 o'clock, Danita, in Westlake at Dover Gardens Tavern. 12 injuries, we can tell you right now. Police are saying those injuries range from bumps and bruises to serious Four people now are at area hospitals, two different hospitals. Police telling us this truck was being chased by police. And witnesses say this driver, who was a young man, attempted to run after he crashed into the bar after police threw spike strips down just outside the bar there. Police tackled him, and uh, that truck uh, went right into the bar, though. We're told it actually pinned two bartenders inside this bar. You can see some of the injured in the video there uh, heading to the hospital. Uh, police say this suspect was in a stolen truck to begin with here from Avon Lake. He had active warrants out on him, including including a suspended license here. Again, 12 injuries. I can tell you from coming into work not too long ago that this is still closed in this area. Detroit still uh, closed between Cahoon and Dover Road. We've talked to some eyewitnesses. I want to hear what they have to say. Listen. At the end of the day, I, I wasn't really focused on that. I was trying to, the person I was sitting with, make sure she was okay and, you know, try to help the people that were back behind the bar. Another person told me he was trying to help them too. How difficult was that? Because he said they were pinned. They were pinned behind the bar. Uh, the cooler was on the one girl's foot, and the, and then the other girl was the cooler had pushed her up into the back of the bar. Again, 12 injuries tonight at the Dover Gardens Bar after a truck slams into it after a police chase. We have a crew on scene, in fact, several crews right now. We are continuing to follow this. Janita, I'll have an update for you later here on News Channel 5 at 11, and we'll have updates throughout the night and into the morning.